What is poppin' fam? Spanik here, coach of your Alabama Crimson Surf. And this is week number... I have no idea anymore. I lost count. Uh, Whatever. It's our next game in WNBA against Zorce and the Chelsea FC. I believe that's what his team name is. Yeah, by the way, it was week eight. <laughs> I just remembered. So yeah, week eight, WNBA against Zorce and the Chelsea FC. This is my first ever battle against him, so... <clears throat> so, we gotta try our best in this one. And also, another reason we gotta try our best in this one, because he's currently... He currently owns the first wildcard spot in our conference. So, a win here could really bode nice for us for the playoffs. Could really bode nice for us if we plan to make a playoff push with our blown-up blown dumpster fire of a roster. So let's look at what he could possibly be playing. Ah, I fucking did it again with the OBS. So let's see what he could possibly bring. He could bring Celestila, Mimikyu, Zapdos, Mega Beagle, Dougie, Drampa, Militic, Hitmonlee, Ditto, Mesprit, and Sandslash. And what did I bring to try to combat this? I noticed right away, every single one of his physical attackers gets walled by FizzDev Quillfish. So that's why Puffer is back once again. With, I think I had Scald, Scald, Spikes, Taunt, and Pain Split. I'm pretty sure I have our fourth move. The second one, the second Mon, Alolawak, offensive variant. Does a lot to his team. I could live Celesteela Earthquake. I'm not even sure why he would run Earthquake on a Celesteela. Probably for my Alolawak, but... <clears throat> If you saw my UTL Week 1 game against West, using Earthquake Celesteela as a little whack lure did not work for me. So maybe the same thing would happen here. Fizzdef Vape we got. Life, we got, yeah, we got Fizzdef Vape. We got Life Orb, Weavile. Standard Donphan with Rapid Spin support with Rocks. Because looking at his team, hazard hazards, getting hazards up is really going to be nice, as his only way to remove them is Zapdos. And if he brings a, and if he brings a partic and I have Lightning Rod on my Lolowak this week, so a Lolowak just straight up walls the Zapdos. And I have Lorantis here. Lorantis is an interesting set. I have a substitute set with Leaf Storm. With an NHV Fire, because if I could get a Leaf Storm off on something like Militic. If he goes hard Celesteela, it's not going to appreciate a plus 2 HP fire from this thing. Especially when I'm behind a sub and I could just spam Leaf Storm on his team. Potentially, my goal with this thing was to sub up on either Militic or Dougie and just proceed to go from there. See how it would go. But he did bring Mega Beedrill and he did bring Zapdos, so maybe this mod's a little expendable. I don't have Defog on it. I believe I had Rapid Spin on Donphan. So yeah, that's my team. Let's see how this battle went off. He leads with the Beedrill. I decided to leave with my Alolawak because I had a good matchup on everything not named Militic. I go in the Don Fan. He Megas in U-turns. And he can take some of that Rocky Helmet with him. As he then goes into this Militic. This Militic was a pain in the ass the whole battle. So I just go hard into my uh, Lorantis. And I think right away it's time to start hitting Leaf Storms. Actually, no, I set up a sub. So now I just I think I just click Leaf Storm anyway here. Yeah, he, had, he reveals HP Ice, which is fine. I just go right for the Leaf Storm. I get a crit, and that crit kind of that crit wasn't too bad. I go into a little black he as he goes to Hidden Power because I figured at this point, yeah, unless that's like Hidden, yeah, because Hidden Power is super effective on my Lorantis, I do a little black just then walls this thing because I have Lightning Rod. He baton passes into his. Militic, as I get off a of Toxic, predicting that. Nice for me, the Militic's Toxic. He misses a Toxic, but it's fine because, well, my thing was already poisoned. Now here, I was thinking about setting up a sub again, but I think I go right for the Leaf Storm. No, I reveal HP Fire, thinking he goes Celesteela. Uh, this game was over a week ago. I don't remember my plays exactly. I realize my uh, Adam Rosales here is a little bit useless. So I don't mind sacking it off here, because I still have ways to deal with Militic, because it's toxic. I just go for Shadowbone, and that does a lot to Zapdos. 
He baton passes into his Militic. I go for Toxic again. Expecting him to stay in. I want that Zapdos Toxic. So I switch into Vaporeon. It's not my best answer to this Militic. I was praying he didn't have... Actually, he really revealed Toxic. I don't have Heal Bell on my, on my Vaporeon, so that kind of sucks. I go into my... I go into my Quillfish here, predicting the Toxic. And I was thinking I could immediately start setting up Spikes, because he is so weak to Hazard Stack. Outside of Zapdos, outside of his Flying Types, he is so weak to Hazard Stack. Break Sashes on... It could break a Sash on Dougie. Break a Sash on Hitmonlee. Beedrill doesn't like the damage. But he reveals Refresh on Militech. And I was like, oh, no. This Militech's a problem. Because my Alola Whack does really big work this game. Because if he's like a Fizz Death variant on that Militech. Because my plan right now is to Hazard Stack and sweep it Weavile. Because that, really that really looks like the plan right now. Oh, I'm not Life Orb Weavile. I'm Choice Banded Weavile. That's right. I remember I was Choice Banded Weavile. Choice Banded Adamant Weavile. Not Life Orb. So, disregard that Life Orb from Team Preview. I'm Choice Banded Weavile. So, right there, it looks like my win condition. My win condition is to set up... Is to Hazard Stack them. Because the only way of removing them is potential Defog, Zapdos, or Rapid Spin Hitmonlee. And I'm pretty sure he's Defog, Zapdos. And I could just get a free switch into a Lola Whack at that point. And he, can, and he can't trap a Lola Whack with Doug Trio. So my plan here was to get Hazards up, sweep with Weavile. This looks like that was the plan. But because he revealed Refresh on this Militech, I can't Toxic, I can't toxic Soul the Militech down into knockoff range. So that's now an issue. I wish my Lurantis was still around because this Militech is the one thing stopping my Weavile sweep. Maybe Celesteela if he's the right, if he's like a defensive set. Which he does end up being. He does end up being a defensive set on Celesteela. But we'll see what happens to that beast later in the battle. So back to the battle now. I just, I go for Toxic here because I needed this thing Toxic bad. He goes for Scald. He's trying to fish for a burn here. Doesn't get it. On the first try. I pull a switch now into my vape as he refreshes again. I don't, have to, I don't think I have Toxic on my vape either. He Toxic's my vape. That's a problem. I think I had Wish Tech Scald and a coverage move. Forgot which coverage move it was. I go back into Quillfish here. He scalds again. Is he just going for damage? I kill off a wish into my milk into my not milk tank into my Quillfish. I still have spikes. I see scalds again. Still no burn, so I'm really getting lucky here. Go for scald on him. We're just exchanging scalds here. I went for scald there, thinking he'd go Doug Trio actually. Right, he goes back into Dose as I set up another layer of spikes. So now, yeah, Defog is can't, is here. I go for Toxic, and I'm able to Toxic his Zapdos, which is really nice in my game plan to Hazard Stack. As now I go back into a Lolowac. Because Zapdos being continually weakened is really nice for me. It was back into the middle tech on my Shadow Bone, and that does a ton. That really did more than I expected. That did about half. If he was fit, that, maybe no. Oh my god, he's not full of his death. I have a chance still. I do get the defense drop, which is unfortunate, but what's it, 30% chance on Shadow Bone or 50%? I don't even know what the percentage is. I think it's 30%, but whatever, it happens. Hacks is part of the game. I've been, I've been, I had my fair share of hacks. So, yeah, okay, so I go for Shadow so more important, the game itself, not about the hacks. So I go for Shadow Bone here. I do way more than I expected. Shadow Bone was my only play, it hit everything. So I decided to be a man here and stay in on the switch into Zapdos and go for it again. Because another one would have killed. That does a ton. And I do get another defense drop, but it's a Zapdos. He goes with Hidden Power. And he, he sacks off the Zapdos, which is actually really nice for me. As now he has no way to remove Hazards. So if I'm able to get Hazards back up, Weavile kind of clean sweeps him. So now he goes back into this Militech and I... And I pull a switch. I pull a switch into my Quillfish because I want my hazards back up. I don't care if he recovers. I want my hazards back up because if I'm able to hazard stack him, that's really nice. I toxic here. I should have maybe got up spikes. But it's whatever. He EQs and I live, allowing me to get up a allow me to get up a layer of spikes, which is really nice. I think here I go into my Dawn fan. No, I go into Weavile because I get a kill. Weavile gets a kill. 
And he switches into his Celestela. I just Ice Shard. It does zero to it. So that made me think, yeah, he's a defensive set. As I go into my Dom Fan on the Leech Seed, that's fine. He switches into back into his Miltic, and I'm able to get up Rocks, which is really nice. Because now I have the Hazards up. I knock off here. Maybe should have kept the item on the Militech because it could have really helped with a Weavile Sweep because Knockoff did more. I just sack off my Don Fan. I really don't need it. It really didn't need it anymore. It got off. I really didn't need it anymore. It got off the rocks. So now I have my hazards up and he has no way to remove them unless Surprise Rapid Spin hit Munley, which I doubt he had because he already revealed Defog on Zapdos. So now I go into my Alola Whack. And, my, and I stay in on the skull thinking I outsped him. But he does outspeed me, which is unfortunate. Yeah, he does outspeed me. I, actually, I knew I could take a skull from that range. That's why I stayed in. And I knew with the hazards up, Weavile could have swept. So I still have my Lullabak here. Go for the Shadow Bone on this Militic. Does way more than half. He rec I knew he was going to recover there. That's why I went for the Shadow Bone. And I would get a crit. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, he's not going right for the kill. Because he knows I revenge him with Weavile if he does. Here he goes for the kill. And I go into Weavile. And I get. A I essentially get a kill here. Uh, he goes into Celesteela. I click knock off and get a crit. That does. That sucks. That crit kind of sucked. Because he was defensive. So I'm I think it may have been a, I think it was a roll of two KO because I was choice banded. I think it was a roll of two KO. I don't have to beat this thing. I'm going into my Vaporeon. He U-turns, I think, into Lee here. Yeah, he U-turns into Lee, takes the hazard damage. I know I just need damage on this thing. I really didn't think that close combat was gonna kill. At minus one, Ice Shard definitely picks this thing off, so that's why I go back into my Weavile. And it looks like so he's, he just sacks the Militic, and Weavile is just going to end up cleaning up the game with Ice Shards. 64%? Yeah, Ice Shards taking that out. Apparently, he was like a weird set on the Hitmonlee to be able to take a Choice Bandit Ice Shard from that range. Uh, he, was a, yeah, he was a weird Hitmonlee set. That crit did not matter. knew his spread. And then he just goes into the Beedrill, and the Beedrill's going to die to an Ice Shard. So, good game, Zorse. Sorry about the hacks, but it happens. Part of the game... And you know how I fit, how I feel about hacks. <laughs> so GG man, we're four and four now. We've climbed back to five hundred after getting blown back in our division. After getting blown back by iPro and AJ, after getting hacks by Bacon and blown back by iPro and AJ, we're four and four now. We should be though. Five and two, but right, we're four and four. Yeah, we're four and four. We should be five and who else I lose to? Uh, West, yeah. I should have, yeah. We should be five and three, but it's whatever. If we were five and three, we were actually tied with Zorse. We actually could have been the second wild card spot, but of course, Bacon had to hacks me. I had to miss that Stone Edge. You know, I'm not even that. Yeah, I had to miss that Stone Edge on Bacon, and I should have been, I should be 5-3 and three right now, but whatever, it's fine. Hacks is part of the game, as you can see by this. Next week, I don't even know who I play next week. You'll see next week who I play. Oh, no, next week I'm supposed to play the Brain 05, but his internet is, his internet is kill. So God knows when that game happens. I might actually play out of week on that. Yeah, whatever, we'll see what happens. So, Spanik out. See you next time.